guys today's video is so exciting because today is the first time that i get a boxy charm box yeah! so i will be unboxing this little guy boxy charm was kind enough to send me the base box for the month of april if you don't know about boxy charm this is a monthly subscription that retails for 25 dollars and has five items inside i know it's already may and this is the april base box but because of the coronavirus postal services got super delayed and i just recently got my box anyways let's just jump in and open the box and the April box theme was festival vibes the card here has the items that you're getting for the base box you will get five to six items I believe here are the items they're actually well protected with this like spongy thing since the box is festival vibes I did my space buns and I did like a festival look the first thing that I got in this box is the Pore Fessional by Benefit. It's the Pore Primer, guys. I wanted this ever since I started my YouTube videos and I finally have one. <laughs> so excited to get this little guy. It was between this and I think another primer, but I think it was the hydrating primer. This is the pore primer, which actually smooths out your skin. It minimizes the appearance of pores. It says it also helps makeup stay put. It does work. I'm wearing it under my makeup. When you squeeze out the product on your hand, you actually feel the texture. It's very smooth and very lightweight. The packaging, oh, it's so cute. It looks like you're buying a Barbie doll. Benefit always goes the extra mile with their packaging. <laughs> It's so cute. It has 22.0 milliliters of product inside. This retails at $32, which is basically already more than the box itself. It has a nice scent. It's a very soft scent, but it has a nice scent. I noticed it when I applied it on my face. It smells like a flowery perfume, but it's soft. It smells really good. I really love the smell. You can wear it underneath your makeup. You can wear it alone. It actually says in the back, which I didn't know, you can wear over your makeup to touch up. I've never tried that before but why don't we give it a try let me just get a mirror here uh i wouldn't do it no i can see already my makeup coming off and i already set it with the urban decay setting spray so i don't think i would recommend putting it over top of your makeup probably in this area because over here it, it did work but this area uh-uh don't do it my makeup's coming off the next item, it's the Zueva Aristo palette. There was 10 options of Zueva palettes that you might have received. I saw the warm tone ones. This is also kind of like a warm tone palette, very lightly, because it still has like two cool tones. The packaging is so pretty. I love the gold detail on the palette. It's so pretty. And it opens like a notebook. You have 10 beautiful eyeshadows in there. It's kind of like the warm tone colors mixed with cool tones, in which you can create a natural look a sultry look a bronzy look i had no problem swatching the eyeshadows they swatch really beautifully it goes on softly you don't have a mirror but you have another like design it's very pretty it says quality is not an act it is a habit i love that gold detail on the palette and this palette retails for 28 dollars i've always wanted to try their products their brushes look so amazing i still want their brushes <laughs> But I'm so happy that I finally got to test out one of their palettes and it's actually really nice. I can't wait to make more makeup tutorials with this palette. The next item is by another brand that I've always wanted to try as well. And I also wanted literally all their products look amazing. This is the Illuminator by Iconic London. So beautiful. I'm wearing it on my face. I think there was three colors that you might have received. I got the original one and it's so freaking beautiful it's a glass container it has a dropper which the tip is actually tilted it makes it so easy to apply you don't need a lot a little bit goes along the way that was my mistake at first because i did three drops and then i filled in the gaps it was a total of five dots i should have just left it at three i don't know why on the other side i did three and then i still did the two other ones so i did five on each either way it blended up nicely i mean i'm all about the highlighter i applied this over my powder with my beauty blender and I had no trouble blending it. It looks really, really nice. It looks very, very glowy. I also put some on my chin and I put some on my nose and the tip of my nose. I love this highlighter. I can't wait for summer like because I am going to put some on my neck, on my shoulders. Not a lot because it's a very small bottle. It has
has 13.5 milliliters. There's different types of way to use a liquid highlighter. You can add it to your foundation, your primer, or moisturizer. So on days where I don't want to do makeup, like every day right now, <laughs> or simply use on its own for a super highlighted glow. The value of this liquid highlighter is $41. Next we have the Lavish 5-Piece Neon Eye Brush Collection. It comes in a little sleeve. It's actually very soft and it protects all brushes. These brushes are cruelty-free brushes. They are so soft. I used nothing but these brushes to make this eye look. I started with the Tapper Blending Brush. So I had to clean it multiple times because I did use it for three colors. Then I used the Brow Groomer Brush. I love to use these kind of brushes for my wings because it is a lot shorter and it's a lot more dense than any eyeliner brush. I used the brow brush to cut my crease. I do like the spoolie. It's a normal spoolie. I mean, what can you say about a spoolie? <laughs> but I do want to use it for my brow. I just need to buy a brow pomade. The next brush that I used was the pencil brush. I feel like it's a little bit longer but I feel like it does the job. I did use this for my lower lash along with the eye shading brush. I mean the eye shading brush is the one that you use all over your eyelid but I use it for the purple color and last but not least I use the fine liner to create the white lining of my cut crease. I'm really loving this brush for this kind of work. I love that they're neon. These retail for $29.99. I have two items left but the card says I would have received the Tony Moly I'm Real Sheet Mask. I don't have the sheet mask in here. I have two other products. I don't know the price on these two last products because they're not in the card. The next item is the Bettington Lashes. It's a beautiful, beautiful packaging. And you have a tiny lash glue, which by the way, I didn't want to use because I don't think it has a brush. I didn't even open it. So I didn't even do the close up on this little guy, but it actually has a stick. So it makes it easier to apply the lash glue on the lash. I'm so dumb for not using this because <laughs> I thought it was the ones that you had to squeeze out. <laughs> I use my regular lash duo to put on these lashes. These are the Harlow 3D Silk Lashes and they're 100% synthetic. But I do like the lashes, they look very nice. I feel like they kind of hide away with this kind of makeup look. I feel like they would look prettier with just the bare eye. I didn't know which lash was which. I put the top lash on my right eye and the bottom lash on my left eye. I don't know if I'm wrong, it doesn't tell me which one is which. Figure they both had shorter lashes on the inner corner. I, I mean, they look the same to me. Maybe it didn't matter. That's why they didn't put it. The last item is another beautiful palette. This one is by Violet Voss. It's so pretty. It's called the Sugar Crystals Palette. It's an 18 color eyeshadow and pressed pigment palette. The packaging is so cute. I love it. It's all pastel colors. So let's open it up. It has a beautiful mirror at the top and you have all the 18 colors. It's so pretty. You have three types of pinks, three types of orange, three types of yellow, three types of mint green, and three types of blue, three types of purple. You get 12 crisp pigments and six matte eyeshadows. When I swatched this palette, all the eyeshadows came out really nice. I also use this palette for my eye looks, except the one on the eyelid. The one on the eyelid is from Zueva, the Aristo palette. I actually put Mother's House, which is this one. Uh, they're so beautiful. I would have to say my favorite eyeshadow from this entire palette is Sugar Crystals. It's such a beautiful color, which is the color that I added on my inner corner. It looks white on the palette, but you can tell that it has pink reflex. It has like a purpley blue iridescence to it. It's so beautiful. I love colorful looks. I hope you guys like colorful looks as well. All right, so those were all the items in the box. If I were to pick my favorite item for the month of April, I can't just pick one. I honestly really loved this entire box. Now let's jump into the makeup tutorial.
you guys liked it if you did please don't forget to thumbs this video up let's start a conversation in the comments down below what items did you receive in the April base box I know that a lot of people get different products because there's different variations of boxes and let me know which one was your favorite item for the month of April there will be more videos coming out for the boxy charm so it's a new series in my channel I already have the box of May so I'm gonna film that as well and I can't wait to see what we got for the month of May so please Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys till my next video. Bye! I, I, was, I, was, so, I was so excited. I was... Milliliters. 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 Litter. Litter. Milliliter. <laughs> it has 22 milliliters of <laughs> It's hard to say that word. <clears throat> 13.5 milliliters. Please don't forget to thumbs this video up. I said that. Yes. <laughs>